Installing a used roof rack on my Toyota Tacoma, there's a couple of things you need to make sure that you get if you've bought a used roof rack or make sure that you install if you've bought a new one. Let's get it on. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. That's right, today I'm going to be installing a used roof rack. Of course, I'm the one that used it. It's sitting right down here on my Toyota Tacoma. Now, since I took it off of the blue truck that I had, there's a couple of things that I need to replace in order to have a good install on this one. And you'll need to do the same if you've bought a used one as well, or make sure that you put these things on if you've got a new one. First of all, tape on the back. There is some double-sided tape back here. This is what tucks in behind the rear window. Need to make sure you replace that so that you get a good fit. Then you're gonna need some Loctite because the original bolts, although it looks like there's still some on here, I'm gonna go ahead and put some new Loctite on just to make sure. And I'm gonna use blue because I don't want anything permanent. There was, it looks like pink for the brackets that are held down. And you might notice some silicone here. Uh, you're gonna need some silicone just to make sure that you don't have any leaks because there are holes that you're gonna be screwing into. I'm just using a, this is just a clear, all weather kind of 100% waterproof silicone. And then the kit originally came with washers. They go in the holes on the truck. Obviously they were destroyed in use. So I had to get some new ones. I believe there are 10. I bought 12 just in case. The original ones had adhesive on the back. I'm gonna actually put a little bead of silicone down and then I'm gonna sit these in the silicone again for waterproofing and then I'll silicone around the edges as well. I'll show you that as we go. But first step is to go ahead and remove the weather stripping or the stripping that's up here and that would be this right here because obviously the holes are underneath and the new roof rack or used roof rack is gonna bolt in. So we're gonna pull these off. We'll do that first. Okay, to do this, we're gonna start right here in the front, kind of grab a corner and then peel this off. There are a couple little holders in there, if you will, or some ribs, I guess, on the strip itself that push down in to hold it. So not too bad, and then some double-sided tape. So let's just grab an edge, hopefully. It should pop right up as it did right there. And then you can see, hopefully, if you look right down there, there is this little ribbed thing, whatever you want to call it, that a little channel underneath the strip plugs into. Not a big deal. Then we're going to just kind of pull it off all across. There should be some double-sided tape that we'll run into, and there is. We're hitting it right now. It's actually right there. Um, we're going to go ahead and pull it the rest of the way off on down the line. Here we go. Should just lift right out. Should run into some more double-sided tape, and we did right here, and then on down, and then it kind of slips in underneath the back part. It's actually two pieces, so there should be a rib thing back there. Nope, more double-sided tape. And then it just pulls right out, and you can see here's the end that slips underneath. Not a big deal. There's what the tape looks like. It's kind of a foamy kind of stuff. So we will have to clean that out. I will clean it out, I think, before I put the next one in. We'll see, I don't know if it's absolutely necessary. Now, moving on to the back. Here we have the back piece you can see right there. That kind of slips in underneath the rubber on the back of the window. Let me flip you around, I'll show you that. Right here, you wanna make sure that you're careful when you pull this out. It tucks down under. It's going to lift right out of there. There should be some double-sided tape in this area, I believe. So let's go ahead and pull that up. We'll find out. Kind of trying to remember as I go because, of course, I have done this before. Okay, let's grab the edge. I think there's another one of those little, yeah, one of those little tabs right there uh, that it plugs into here. And then it should, as we get that tape pulled out, there's the tape underneath. Should just pull right out, and it did. And mine was only stuck under, you can see where the dirt line is, about that far, that's it. So, next up, 
I need to clean this double-sided tape, especially back here, out of the holes uh, because that's where we're gonna, had to kill a bug there, sorry, spider. That's where we're gonna put the, uh, the new one in and I want this to be clean. I will use some rubbing alcohol here, but let me clean all that stuff out and then we'll move on. Okay, we've got everything cleaned off, best that it's gonna be cleaned off. Um, next, we need to expose the holes that we're gonna screw into. And Toyota conveniently tapes over those with a painted tape. Um, there are actually two here, uh, two here, and two here. So we kind of have to push down a little bit as to where the hole is. And then I don't want to remove all this tape. I think that's good for waterproofing. So I'm going to kind of just push down to find the holes. That will leave an indentation, like you can see there. And then I'll cut out the hole because that's threaded under there, what we need to screw into, hopefully. So I'm going to do that next. Then we'll place our washers with the silicone around them. Okay, we've got the holes cut out all along the way. Uh, again, give yourself enough clearance and get the gunk out of there so that while well, you've got it all lined up, it fits perfectly, but it won't go in because there's a piece of something sticking in the hole. So now I'm gonna put the silicone around the hole and go ahead and put the washers on. I've got the silicone on under the washers and then I put some around the edges. Yeah, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but that's okay. You're not gonna see any of this. And then I have the front bracket installed. Just to note that little yellow plug-like thing, that goes towards the front. And everything is labeled, by the way, right hand being passenger, left hand being driver. And again, I put a bunch of sealant on there because I do not want leaks. Uh, not pretty, but effective. So next up is to go ahead and sit the rail down on top of the holes, hopefully, and uh, bolt those down. I will put a little silicone above each hole before I do this, just to make sure that there's some silicone in the holes when I tighten it down. We do have to put the front part on first, I think. You kind of slip the, the front in. You can see that slot there. That goes over that yellow tab, slides back, and then you can bolt on here, 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 and here. And it looks like I forgot to do one of the washers. How about that? I'll take care of that before I put it on. Okay, time to bring you guys up to speed. I do have it bolted down. The screws here in the front, which you can see here, and then the other one's on down the way. Next is to put the arm on that swings out to connect over to the other side. It's gonna be right here, held on by this long bolt through that hole right there. And then it fastens down on the end, of course. Now, the only other thing after that is going to be to tuck this piece down with the, the double-sided tape on the back that I did earlier. I will wipe it off under here with some rubbing alcohol first and then tuck the end, which you can see right there, underneath the molding. Then this side will be done. I'm gonna go ahead and put the other side on and then we'll show you the finished product once everything is completely installed. All right, it's all installed. What do you think? Looks like it could be a little bit crooked to me. Uh, but actually, I just have the arm extended uh, because I wanted to check, and I'm going to do it with you guys, and I haven't done this yet, whether or not the back rail is impacted by the shark fin antenna. That was a problem for a while uh, with the OEM roof rack, and that's because Toyota had moved it forward. Right now, its back looks to me like where it's supposed to be. If yours is in that position, about an inch or so from the little ledge here, if you will, then you should be golden. And it was only for about a year and a half, I think. But to put these up, if you're not familiar with it, you just grab this edge, pull up, and it comes up like so. Then scooch it over, and here we go, the moment of truth, and put it in the first hole on the other side, which will be right there. Now we have to go around and push it down because it's sitting in the hole or above the hole, not actually in the hole. Okay, as you can see, it did not go right in the hole. I don't know why. It's almost like they're too close. Hopefully not. Let's give it a smack and see what happens. There, it's in the hole. Now, does it impact the shark fin? Let's crawl back up here and take a look. 
Hopefully not, and no, it does not. You can see right there, there is some gap between the shark fin and the rails. So they did scoot it back. Before it used to hit about right here. Now we're not doing that anymore. So kudos to Toyota for making us whole again. Now, let's try to lift this out since it went in so hard. Yeah, it's in there. Let's see. Okay, it's just a really tight fit, which is good. I mean, it should be. You can see how tight it is right there on the edge. Uh, but again, that's good. It's the way it's supposed to be. So to stow them, obviously, you just move them back to the other side. Let's see if I can actually pull the one on the passenger side from the ground. Uh, you can, but it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. But you can do it, especially if you're taller than I am. Now, to put it back in, obviously, you just give it a smack and it's back in the hole, nice and secure. It's not gonna come flying out of there unless you open the latch. Let me put the other one in, we'll take a look at it from the side in the front. Okay, there you have it. There's what it looks like from the front. Of course, it's just a roof rack. And then a look from the side. I like the looks of it. It's kind of the whole reason I put it on, actually, uh, because I do like the way that it looks in conjunction with the sport bar back there of course it's black sport bar is black everything's blacked out that's cool and if i ever have to haul anything on top i'll be set leave a comment let me know what you think do you have one did you put it on yourself what'd you think of the install i will say everything lined up pretty good this time on this truck so no issues with that also real quick i do have two additional channels rob motive mt all about mini trucks Currently, a 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz and Rob Motive JT all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.